Now, Eyewitness Sports 4 presents your best source for high school sports. New Mexico Game Day, sponsored by Fiesta Kia. Oh, no. <laughs> Great to have state champion Volcano Vista wrestling in the house tonight. Here's what's coming up on your Mexico game day. A good night if you like home runs, district baseball and softball from the Metro to Roswell. And one of the biggest college signing ceremonies in school history for Volcano Vista also on the show. Speaking of those Hawks, let's hear again from the state champion wrestling team. Okay, let's get the highlights. Rockin' Valley, Del Norte baseball, top of the first, Jaden Martinez. See you later with Mama watching a solo homer. The sophomore gets the Vikings going later in the first. Alex Gilliam, an RBI single. Valley goes on to win big 19-4. They move on to 3-0 in district play. Up to Bernalillo now. Spartans hosting Albuquerque Academy. Swing and a miss. A strikeout for Dale Toya, but the Chargers would do some damage before the inning was over. Levy Citrin. RBI single, drives in Michelangelo Duva. Academy beats Bernalillo 4-1. They get Boleyn on Saturday. Let's go to Roswell and Goddard. Bragging rights up for grabs whenever those two meet. Rockets up 2-1 until Jerry Barola sends one, packing a two-run homer, puts the Coyotes up 3-2. And then bottom five, Cinco Holloway. A fly ball will drop in and score two. Goddard edges Roswell 9-8. Back in Albuquerque we go. Valencia in Highland, District 5-4A, top third, Daniel Aramijo. Grounds to first, but that's going to score home a run from third. Jags with the early lead. Hornets trying to get a rally brewing. Aronson, Nelson, deep to center. Good for an RBI double. Valencia pulls away for the win, 14-3. To, to softball, Valley, Del Norte, one nothing Vikings in the first, and they start to turn up those bats. RBI triple from Aaliyah Penn, Vikings get off to a great start with four runs in the first inning, and Valley wins big, 20 to five. Albuquerque Academy and Bernalillo, Melissa Porcella with the babies and sunglasses watching. A strikeout on the mound, and then moments later, she's gonna grab a bat and smag a homer out of the ballpark. Academy holds off Bernalillo in a close game, four to three. Volcano Vista High School had one of their biggest signing ceremonies in school history. 23 Hawks, college bound in eight different sports. Some of them uh, headliners here. Two time state champ Sean Alter will play basketball in the Philippines. Reagan Hall signed to play baseball at the University of Illinois. I mean, our school produces a ton of college athletes, and it's great to be a part of that. Really big, like, I've never seen anything else like this, but it was really cool to sign with all these people. I've known most of them since, like, elementary school, middle school. Like, just growing up with them and to see them all succeed is really awesome. It actually means quite a bit. I mean, I, I've worked hard since freshman year when I first committed. I mean, I just seeing all my friends, too. I mean, obviously my baseball friends and then seeing my friends in school, everyone sign. It's, it's a good thing to see. To be signed with all my classmates, you know, obviously it takes a lot to get to this next level in college. And, you know, obviously it takes hours of dedication. Obviously, you know, everybody who signed today showed that they were willing to put in the work. It just takes a lot of work to get to where we were. And it feels good to, like, celebrate with all these uh, people that also did that. And it just feels good. These are my guys. These are all my people that I've grown up with, been in the same class with. You know, obviously middle school, high school, elementary school, all growing up together. It feels good to be in the same, same room as everybody. Never too late to celebrate a state championship for the first time in New Mexico history. Volcano Vista won state titles in both boys and girls wrestling. It's great to have the Hawks on New Mexico game day, including their head coach, Aaron Griego. Congrats. I know it's been a couple months almost, but uh, man, it must feel awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. No, it feels great. It, it hasn't really kicked in fully yet, but we're, we're still training and, and going through this process. So once maybe we get a break, we can celebrate the successes of the kids. Can you put into perspective what it means to you guys to be the first school to do that, to win titles, both boys and girls, in the, in the same year? Well, it's, I feel like it's been a long time coming. This is the fourth year that girls wrestling even existed in the state. And kind of from the day one, we had a, a set of girls that really helped us build a foundation and we've always been a contender with the boys so it just seemed like the grind kind of kicked, finally kicked in and paid off and here we are. And you mentioned it right there only four years for girls wrestling boys wrestling has been around for a while so for your boys team and girls team to be at the top of the mountain respectively with all the hard work you guys have put in uh, yeah I mean, how, how would you say what would you say is the biggest meaningful thing for you at this point? 
meaningful is, is just the kids' happiness. <laughs> the kids' pay, yeah. hard work paying off is the most important thing for me. Um, they work hard. I mean, they work at a, a ridiculous level. I would say near college level uh, training. So, I mean, the, the the amount of discipline and and the grind. I mean, I can't say it enough. The grind that they've committed to to reach their success is obviously second to none. And you have two Hawks that competed in a national level, which I'm going to talk about after the break. Uh, we've got more with Volcano Vista Wrestling coming up. Our scoreboard's next. First, let's hear from those Hawks one more time. We're made the same. Volcano Vista Wrestling in the house, the first school to win state boys and girls titles in the same season. So excited to have the Hawks in studio with Tony Lopez and Chelsea Rivera live on the show. Thanks for hanging out, guys. Thank you for having us. Of course. Tony, you've been on the team for three years. Yeah. So much hard work and now state champion. What does it mean to you? It means a lot to me, but honestly, this is just first step on the staircase. Next up is a national title, getting committed to a a high college and just pursuing that further academic and athletic prowess. Absolutely. And Chelsea, the, the girls team is brand new still in, in a way. I mean, the sport is only four years old in New Mexico. To put into perspective how far you guys have come on the girls side, what would you say? Um, I mean, we started off with very little, very little girls and coming up now it's, we have over 30 girls on our team. Yeah, it was just a couple, right, in the first season? Yeah, we I think two, two girls and then it just graduated up to over 30. Tony, you mentioned national stuff. You and Lorenzo Gallegos competed in a national meet just recently, taking fourth and sixth place. Yeah. What's it like representing the Hawks on the national stage? Uh, it's an amazing feeling, honestly. Like, just hopping out on that mat and just having right here the Hawks wrestling, like, right above, like, right under your chest, right where your heart is. Because, like, that is where your heart is. That's where you spend all your time. That's where you go. That's where you go hang out with your friends. Like, it's honestly a family right here. All the coaches, they're like the parents, and then all the, all the kids are like the siblings. Right. And we all get along like a big... Happy family. Chelsea, we got a few seconds here. Uh, you're a big recruiter bringing in girls from other sports to play wrestling. What was the hardest thing to convince them why wrestling would be fun to do? Um, well, they always told me that they were scared of getting hurt, but in the end, it, they realized that it will protect them. It's just a, you'll protect yourself from people. Yeah, and you guys had a blast. Well, thanks for being on the show. One more time with the Hawks. We're out of time. Thanks for coming on, guys. <laughs> 